acting like you don't deserve them, which actually comes from a belief, usually, that you don't deserve him or that you don't deserve a great guy or you don't deserve a guy or that you're not lovable or that nobody wants you or something like that, right? There's a belief that you have a thought that you have over and over and over that you've emotionalized that says that you don't really deserve what it is that you want or you don't deserve something good. And it's one of those things where if you have something like this, like it's, you're not alone. Like it, most people have something like this in some area of their life where they feel like they don't deserve what it is that they want and it ends up sabotaging everything that they, they want. One of the things that I talk about is this idea when we talk about framing, which is a, a big concept that I've talked about in a lot of different videos. And framing is this idea of like, it's like what goes around all of the interactions that you have. Well, you have outside external frames, which is your interactions and how things are like what the meaning is behind the interactions. But you also have internal frames, which then dictate your external frames. And so if you have a belief inside yourself that says that you're not worthy, what you're going to start doing is you're going to sabotage things. You're going to start acting out and acting and behaving in ways that exhibit that you don't deserve the things that you want. And people around you are going to start thinking that you don't deserve what you want because whoever is most certain about their frames and their belief systems are the people that pass those on. Right. And so it doesn't matter how much a guy likes you or how much a guy loves you or how much a guy thinks of you as amazing and beautiful and awesome. And like you, you deserve love. If you don't believe it, eventually it's going to wear on him and destroy his beliefs as well.